Hello world, this is Attacker 7 and today I'll be showing you guys the best text editor for Windows 7 or really Windows 7 Mac or uh, Linux operating system. And it's called Sublime Text. Sublime Text is a sophisticated text editor for code, HTML, and, and prose. You'll love the slick user interface and extraordinary features. Here's a picture of it. So as you see, you can edit two of them at the same time. Um, yes, you can use Notepad, but um, I find this is a really slick program. It has many features, and it's a great little program. To get it, um, I'll have a link in the description right here. All you can do is go to download. They have uh, the two, two versions they have. So you can either download the 1.4 setup or the 1.4 uh, portable version, or you can go into the beta, which I'm gonna download the beta. Go here, and you can see it. And if you go down all the way to the bottom, you have um, download, and here we have 41 com 41 com comments, and most of them are pretty good. Um, and if you download, here we go. So here's a build. Here's the information. And so you can choose which your is yours. So right now they only have the portal version right now as for the beta version. So that's what I'll be getting. If you have a standard Windows, you can download this one right here. If you have Windows 64 bit, you can download this. If you have a Mac, you can use that Linux right there. So I'm just gonna open up the uh, file. And here we go, we get a bunch of stuff. So, if you find right here, you have sublime underscore text.exe. That looks to be the uh, text file, or sorry, the application file. And here we go, we got uh, what we're looking for. So, as you see, I'm on a uh, plain old text document so it's just as like as um notepad so we can just type in hello there and look it has a pretty clean interface it has uh counting lines as you can see so if we go to preferences we have um file settings global settings font color scheme we have projects, so we can open up projects, tools, which command palette. So let's say we can um, do certain settings for our, whatever operation is. Now this program is designed for HTML and coding like that. But again, you can use this program for plain old text documents. So if you're a student at school and you want a quick note, you can just write it down. It has a built-in spell check. So as you see, these words are spelled wrong, and it gives you suggestions. Obviously, there's no suggestions for that piece of crap. They have bookmarks, scrolling. Um, here we go. We have some more. So we have open file, open folder, clone file. So if I actually do something down all the way down the line. You'll see on the right side right here. I have this big picture and if I actually drag the picture like this I'll be able to find the stuff I'm looking for so again I can go like this which seems to be a little slower or if I have a certain spot on the line I can actually just drag like this and see it's almost like another uh, how do I say this another way of scrolling down here's the X button where you can um, exit out of the new file so if you hit no it will close um, so we can go to new file again, and get obviously new one. And if we hit new file again, we see we get a, we get a tab. So we can have one thing going saying hello, and switch tab, and put in put in something else. So blah blah. So it, it's it allows for a lot of work being done at once. This is a great text editing program. It's free. Um, they have they have a paid version which I believe allows 
um, more stuff like that. But whatever they have, a, their Twitter page you can go to right here. They already have us uh, almost 8,000 followers. So here you can just find. You can if you want, you can follow uh, the guy from Sydney, Australia, and he'll probably give you some updates on. Um, latest updates on the program and stuff like that. So this is again this is a great program. I'll have a link in the description. Uh, besides that, you know, have a have a great day and I'll see you guys next video. This is the Hacker Triple O seven and I'm signing off.